Okay, so today we're going to uh, complete the design of your money boxes using 2D design. The students here today are carrying out a CAD CAM project. They're designing a product using the computer, which is the CAD aspect of it. And then we're going to use a laser cutter to manufacture the product, which is the CAM. Well, the students are made aware from the outset of the project that uh, the computer is to be seen as a, as a tool. The computer itself won't produce fantastic design ideas. It's just going to facilitate them in producing them. We teach a wide range of abilities and students also come to us with a wide range of preferred learning styles as well. So it's important that the, the curriculum is designed in such a way that it meets the demands of, of all the students. That when the students move through into a GCSE and A level, they then have a better understanding of, uh, of the types of, and the methods that they can actually design and manufacture their products so that some might decide to design in a very traditional way and make in a traditional way. Some will wholly use computers and the CAD CAM facilities but more often than not the students will use a mixture of the two. Having all this uh, ICT in the school, hardware and software, it's all very well but there are training implications with this new equipment. Over the past three years we've operated an improving and learning group where members of staff from different faculties at different levels of responsibility will come together and share best practice. This is particularly important in the use of new technologies because the technologies on their own are not going to guarantee you an enhanced learning experience or are they going to uh, improve student results. But if used with other powerful strategies such as assessment for learning and thinking skills then the new technology becomes a very powerful tool to deliver that enhanced learning experience which is what we're after. Did you manage to fulfil all the requirements that, that were required for the project? We use uh, peer assessment quite a bit um, because it enables um, a student to get somebody else's perspective on their own work. For example, when a student has made a product, it's all very well them talking about it, but they're going to look at it in a very positive way because they're the ones that have designed it. If you get somebody else to actually look at your work for you, then they're going to perhaps spot some of the uh, things that could be improved a little bit better than they could have themselves. I think it's good I should vectorise different images and pick different images from the internet. If we try and encourage the students to work out the problems themselves rather than coming to the teachers the first port of call, we have the virtual learning environment where they can actually access help files for a particular project that they've been assigned to. Um, it might be certain website links, it might be a help sheet to actually guide them through a particular process that they're going through during that lesson. ICT is embedded in this way throughout all the teaching practices at the Minster. Across every subject, students are expected to be familiar with technology. We got set a project to make a movie about something that we wanted to research and promote. And you can put in music, like import music, or you can get pictures and use loads of different effects. I'll probably use it in the future when I want to make a presentation or something. ICT helps me quite a lot as a teacher in design technology. Um, for example, we have the interactive whiteboards which enables us to put up project work that we've previously designed up on the screen. The use of the virtual printers that we have in school is also quite useful because a student can print a work out in a lesson and if they need it there and then they can go and collect it. But also it's stored in the system so they can actually collect that work at the end of the day. ICT has certainly had an impact on the, the achievement of the students at the Minster School. The quality of the outcomes they produce are of a very high standard. But more than that, it's the, it's the sense of achievement that the students um, feel when they actually produce an item of such quality, which I think has led on to at least a grade or more in, improvement in their GCSE results. <laughs>